Eager to experience a spectacular sunrise at Cambodia's ancient Angkor Wat? Here's everything you need to know to get to this iconic site and make the most of your visit. Angkor Wat is actually just one of over a thousand temples that make up the ancient city of Angkor. Today, the entire city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but Angkor Wat remains the most well-known and largest of all the Angkor temples. This site can often be found on travel must-see lists, and no time of day is more impressive than sunrise. Getting here is easier now than ever, but there are a few key things you need to know. In order to travel to Cambodia, you'll need to get a tourist visa either online in advance or at the airport in Phnom Penh, Siem Reap, or at any major border crossing. The visa costs 37 US dollars and is valid for a stay up to 30 days. Fly into Siem Reap, the gateway city for all Angkor exploration. It's located just four miles south of the site and is a destination in itself, with plenty of quality dining, cultural, and accommodation options. Getting between Siem Reap and Angkor is surprisingly simple. If you're up to it, you can actually even walk there. But if you're looking to arrive in time for sunrise, you'd be best to arrange other transportation. The archaeological park opens early at 5 a.m. Renting a tuk-tuk is a popular option. For under 30 US dollars, you can have your own personal driver who will pick you up from your hotel, take you to the perfect sunrise spot, and get you from temple to temple throughout the day. Just be sure to bring a bunch of smaller U.S. dollars for cash tips along the way. Guided U.S. tours of the site can also be arranged in Siem Reap, or see it through a Nat Geo lens with one of several National Geographic expeditions that include a stop at Angkor Wat. Tickets to access the entire park are available in one, three, and seven day passes, ranging from 37 U.S. dollars to 72 U.S. dollars. A three-day pass will give you plenty of time to experience other notable landmarks, including the Bayan Temple of Smiling Faces, the Taprom Temple, which was used in the filming of the movie Tomb Raider, and Sunset at Phnom Bikang. Having a three-day pass also means that you can escape back to your hotel room to avoid the afternoon heat. Local temperatures can exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer months. The heat is extra daunting since this is a sacred site and there are no uncovered knees or shoulders allowed. And if avoiding the heat isn't enough to entice you to visit at sunrise, these photographs will surely do the trick.